utmost to lift a club during a very difficult spell. He's been training early in the mornings, I believe, 7 o'clock in the morning, and uh, he thinks he's got over the worst with that uh, calf muscle injury of his, and there is a look of determination in his face. There is a full range of side. Well, I suppose every game is very important for a team leading the championship, but they lost the last two games, and they have never lost three games in a row under Sunas. But if consistency means anything, then this is the most valuable player around at Ibrooks. There he is, Richard Gobby. He hasn't missed a game, and he is the last Rangers player to have scored a goal, which was three weeks ago. Now, I personally believe that Hibs are the, the best side they've had in many a season. Uh, they slipped up last week against uh, United. Very heavy defeat up there, but of course United are playing extremely well, but they do welcome back into the ranks. One of the most entertaining players in the game, Mickey Weir, who hasn't played for the side since August. And there's the referee for today, Donald McVicker from Carlow. Well, the tickets went slowly for this game, but I think the stadium is filling up very nicely. At this time of the year, of course, our tendencies do take a dip. Ray Wilkins is always trying to play football. Subtle play at time, Drinkle. Kane's not there. Good anticipation. Stevens. Just beyond the call now. Butcher. There's a shot. Well, the big man wasn't messing about. He's very good with that left foot of his. He's one of the most accurate passes with his left foot of anybody in the game this time. He decided he meant business on his own, but that was always drifting away. Very good Hibernian sport here, support here today. That's a handling offence, and that's a free kick. Probably hear the Hibernian supporters in the background. Gordon Ray. I think the Edinburgh supporters here today will be wanting them to push forward and go in the opposite direction from that one. It's a good ball by Gorham. Picked up by Kane. Monroe. Neil Orr. Ray. And one wonders what's going through the mind of the Rangers goalkeeper down at the other end of Terry Butcher after that horrible gaffe between them last week which threw the game away eventually when Rangers were pressing the breakaway and uh, conceded a vital goal who had shot dreadful blunder on the Rangers defense Archibald well that's an extravagant use of the ball in a very dangerous area by Rangers First of all, the, the bad pass that uh, came from Wilkins originally, giving Archibald the opportunity, although they, they did close down on him very much. Kane, there's Butcher, now Drinko. To Cooper. Drinko. No, just kept in. Wilkins spraying the ball about. Now John Brown. There's Wilkins. That's beautiful play. Now Stevens. White to McCall, taking it to his left foot, as you'll see. Ferguson. That's not a bad ball. That's Jeff Pass. Brown with a header. And a look of exasperation, and no wonder. Beautiful play by Wilkins originally, and McCall then to Ferguson. Watch this neatly chipped ball, and Brown, and watch how Drinkle could only stand on as a spectator. Oh, beautiful play by Collins. Heading for goal himself. Archibald, neatly nipped forward, and what 
Walker. There was no outside. That's good play by him. Play it around. And the Hibs players trying to get forward to them. And they're still playing sensibly, though, trying to keep possession. There's Butcher. Full width to the park. Now McCall. I just got the throw. He hasn't got going McCall yet. Promising player when he came from Dunfermline for 200,000, but never really flourished. Is Ferguson following up on that? That's the sort of play he does very well at. You know, the long run from midfield, watching players build it up on the edge of the box and coming in like this. Although, in honesty, that was a rather poor effort by his standards. Andy Gorham and Walker have had another tranquil afternoon. Calling that far side. Well, at least it's a shot at goal. One of the few we've seen. Using his left foot well. Andy Gorham, cold though he may be, right behind it. Technically sound goalkeeper, if ever there was one. Brown, Cooper. Too precise a pass by Drinko. Vicky Weir. Every way his play on his Drinko picks us up now to Ferguson. Plays it wide, the call. Stevens on the outside. And McCall in a dreadful finish, and that is why we've had no goal so far. There's been that sometimes delightful play outside the penalty area. But they can't cap it. There's drink cool. Ferguson. Here's McCall. Free kick, I think, for that tackle. Did very well, McCall. He's growing a little bit in confidence now. A neat little ball and uh, off the head of Kane. Yes, he took that rather well. It's a kind of ball with defenders never know quite know whether to go for it and touch it like that, but he did that time, and there was Gorham Archibald laying it off very well. Archibald make it about 30 seconds or so. This first half remaining. Cooper. Stevens. Is Drinko. Rangers at least got the throw out of that. Mitchell went all the way across with Drinko. Richard Goff got the way down now Butcher and there goes the halftime whistle there's no scoring I should imagine the hip supporters to the left of cameras are more pleased about that score than Rangers although there has been a lot of very good football in the game there's the hip support but a kind of tinselly Christmas effect of some of these colors up top left um, there has been a lot of good football but without any penetration and I suppose indication of the game has gone is that the goalkeepers have had not a save what the note so I must uh, confess I look for better things in the second half well much as I would like to wave a magic wand and transform this game I don't think 
it would work. I think it's going to remain very tight indeed. The fence is very cagey. Hibbs, who lost four goals last week, entitled to say that's not going to happen again. They played very tight. Here's David Cooper. Ah, the old zing, I think, is gone. John Collins. There's Archibald and Butcher's behind there. To Ferguson. Uh, was far too casual about it. And I suspect that if Hibbs keep the score as it is, they are thinking that Rangers and the supporters might get frustrated. Cooper shot again with that pass. Taken neatly by Jacob now Ferguson. Here's McCall. Oh, that's the ball! Great shot! Desperately unlucky. Stevens. That's Stevens, and that is a corner kick. Well, that was a great shot by the youngster. He tried that in the first half, of course. And it wasn't like that when that utterly deceived Corum. Butcher tries to get up, and no dig in that header by Richard Goff. And Rangers, nevertheless, in the first couple of minutes, have produced more threat than they did in the entire first 45 minutes. Well, it, you'll see in this incident Richard Goff coming up. Now, it was hovering very temptingly but his head was all down the way and too sharp the long chase Archibald is there neatly played though by Butcher to Brown tries too much and gives it to Weir now this is promising that's a corner kick yes it came off and rolled eventually he couldn't get out of the way. On the far side, John Collins. That's a useful ball and well taken by Walker. Under pressure. Now, this was swerving in very fast indeed. That's confident goalkeeping. And Graham Sivis re-emerges as a Rangers player. His first appearance this season. The manager of the club comes on to try and push Rangers. Butcher. There's Sinus right on the play immediately. Yes, Cooper. Ball. What's a beautiful ball by McCall to Stevens. Not hard enough, but they get the corner kick. They had three players in there. Beautiful ball put through to Stevens. Try to get that head out in as soon as. Just slack with it. is a free kick challenge there by Sinners and a free kick immediately straight to Hunter and they did out back Sinners oh this could be interesting Kane Oh, the made a mess of that one. They had three players up. Taken well by Mitchell. And Monroe, all he can do, pop it out of play. And we're seeing a little more of him now. Certainly been right in the shell in the first 15 minutes of this second half.
Weir stops his man beautifully. Looking for the one-two. Doesn't quite get it. Archibald feels for a penalty. Referee does play his play on. Now, Wilkins to Cooper. And Cooper caught in possession. And he's giving Rangers nothing today. Counter attack by Hibbs now. Kane has been working very usefully in midfield. Taking the balls up on the deep, making long runs. Now Mickey Weir. Gets his crushing! Oh, that ball to Rangers defence. Good play by Weir. coming through now here's Cooper Sinus our butcher to Stevens there's McCall free kick Obviously, with the intention of trying to get what well, to avoid defeat at all costs. No one nothing down, they've got to do a little more, be a trifle more adventurous. Obviously, last week's result at Tanadise has affected their attitude and the tactics for the game today. just kept in did that beautifully and stabs it in and oh that's great play by Ray tremendous pressure on him golf goes forward Ferguson and pressure really now on Hibbs and goes after that of the noise we're hearing from the Terrasins is about the score coming from the northeast. And there goes the final whistle. Rangers in a stadium where the sense of relief I think is extremely tangible having come through a very sticky spell, losing the last two games and then suddenly bringing on that uh, fresh pair of legs 
McCall scoring a quite magnificent goal. You'll remember this afternoon for a long time to come, making the break in a game that seemed as if would be stalemate right to the end. Terry, that was an amazing transformation in Rangers. Frankly, they didn't play at all well last week, but they played with great confidence today. Yes, I mean, uh, the manager drummed home to us this week that we've got nothing to feel uh, um, sad about or, or uh, get down about because we are two points clear. We were two points clear. And um, he said, you know, we've, we didn't really play last week and uh, we knew then it was up to us to, with, with the home game and a uh, two-week break over Christmas, it was up to us to get back to our winning ways. How difficult is it, though, in front of a crowd that want you to go forward, want you to win, to play patiently and cautiously and keep possession. I mean, they want the ball pushed forward. Oh, yes, very, very much so. I think um, all the players here, the shows have got the ball forward as quick as possible. And uh, we tried that against uh, Hearts. We tried that against Dundee United to a certain extent. And um, nothing came of it. And uh, there was a few uh, moans in the first half and the ball was being played across the back. Uh, the manager drummed into us that Liverpool have been doing it. And uh, if we got to doing that, then we could stretch teams and get wide because our two wide men, David Cooper and Ian McCall, played really well. And we had that width. Um, down the flanks and consequently we're able to get behind them. Well, let's talk about Ian McCall because I think the manager has made it perfectly clear that he wants a bit of challenge to the established members in the team. And McCall definitely has talent and he showed that today. Yes, he had talent when we played against him first uh, and then a manager signed him. Um, and he, he, he came into the team last year, didn't really um, play as well as he can play. And he had a chance today. He's been playing the reserves, he's been, uh, been up and down, I think. His confidence has gone or had gone, uh, but he had a chance today and he came in and did really well, had a marvellous goal and had a marvellous match. Um, mm. It is good competition for the for the other players. We've had a lot of injuries, of course. Alan McCoy has been out, Ian Durant has been out. So uh, Kevin Drinkle's done well up front and uh, it's nice now that somebody else can come into the team, uh, obviously with Mark being out, and uh, you know obviously score the match goal. So it's, it's very good from a, from a squad point of view. Critical 